this week on Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to do the 12 dates of Tableau. Now, number one, if you right click on your data source and go to um, date properties, you get to do three options here. So you get four options, sorry. You get to change what type of default calendar you would like. Number one, you change your week start depending on whether you're a Sunday or a Monday. Number two, Number three, you change your physical year start. And number four, you get to change your date format here already. So you can change it to a custom date format or you can change it to the standard long date depending on your system settings. So there are four quick tips already. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna explain the difference between the green dates and the blue dates. So I'm just gonna hit option drag to um, columns which on a Mac it's option and um, on a Windows PC it's right click and drag and now we have the top part here which are blue and hash which is numbers and at the bottom here we have a green and um, a calendar type so the top section are discrete dates so they are date parts so in if I show you what I mean so if I click on month it's just going to give me all of those individual months regardless of those years and again I can drill down and that will get take it to the day regardless of the month. Now if I go back to these bottom ones when I click on month it'll do it via month and year. So that's the difference between the two different date functions. Then we also have this hierarchy as you saw me before. You've got the little plus and minus here. Tableau automatically allows you, it creates this hierarchy for you and you can drill up and drill down depending. But what if you want to, don't want your customer or consumer to be able to find this little plus and minus button? What happens then? Or you don't want them to drill down all the way to week or day. What we can do is we can create our custom dates. So if I right click on here and go down to create custom date and what I want to do is I want to change it to years and now we have date part or date value. So date part is going to give us just the numbers. So 2016 or 2018 which is what we want but we want to be able to create a, a single drill down from year to year and month. So we're just going to edit this and change it to date value. Now you can see it's got a green date in front of it. The next one we're going to do is we're just going to create another custom date which is months and again on date value. And all we're going to do is just going to drag them on top of each other to create our date hierarchy. Now what I can do here is instead of this order date I can grab my date hierarchy and if I click the plus or minus it's only going to show me my um, years and then my months. So we can change these back to blue pills. So if I change these to convert to discrete and this one too. Now when I drag it on again it will drill down to my individual dates. So that was up to um, eight tips. So now we have our date trunk calculation. So if I go to um, this calculated field and I go on to dates down here, we have a lot of different date calculations. So the first one we're going to look at is date trunk. Now, date trunk is going to specifically return back whichever field, so either quarter, month, that your date is in. So, for example, if we wanted to have a look at date trunk and we want to look at the um, quarter of order date, uh, this is then going to bring back the quarter of our order date and I make sure you do it with a lower 
and this is only going to bring back the date but as a quarter so if I show you that's calculation one it's purely just going to bring back all the way it won't let me drill down further than the quarter itself uh, to the month that the that quarter first starts on so that creates its own little hierarchy and then we have the make date calculation so again if I go into um, I think it's under date nope no it's not um, it is under type conversion so make date allows you to create a specific date as a field so if I do make date 2020 02 29 because we know it's a leap year next year and now when I put that in you'll be able to see I've created my date across all of my um, f it rows in my data source so that's how you use make date then we have date add so for example we want to be able to add the four days onto order date order date plus four so we go date add and then what you want to do is you want to say um what you want to add to so either days months years or quarters you want the interval to be four and you want the um, date to be order date now when I show you this what we're going to do is we're going to um, option drag order date on here and click discrete and we're also going to option drag order date plus four so that I can show you what it's doing so you can see we've added four days onto our order date so that is date add and then we have date diff so for example I want to know how many days it is between now and my wedding which is the 29th of February 2020 so I'm going to go date diff wedding so we're going to do the date diff we want day day sorry and the start date is going to be um, our calculation 2 which is the wedding date in fact no our start date is going to be today and our calculation 2 is our wedding date and now if I hit OK and I go to a new sheet I'm going to drag this out this is basically because it's over the same number of rows all of those number of rows but if I do a minimum we can see it's only 68 days to the wedding woohoo Merry Christmas everybody and a happy new year and we'll see you all in 2020